Every developer jokes about having ADHD, but after a while, it stops feeling like a joke. You sit down to fix one bug, and somehow you're watching a video on how to build a custom OS in Rust. You open your IDE to refactor a function, and five minutes later, you're deep into a new side project called Productivity Tracker V12. It's not that developers can't focus, it's that coding itself trains your brain to crave chaos. So the question is, do most devs actually have ADHD, or does programming just make us act like we do? Let's start with what we actually do all day. Programming isn't linear. It's like juggling while reading documentation written in another language. You're debugging one second, answering Slack messages the next, then jumping into a quick code review that turns into a two-hour refactor. Studies have shown it takes an average of 23 minutes to fully refocus after an interruption, and yet our entire workflow is basically a series of interruptions. Context switching is a feature, not a bug, in developer life. <coughs> And when your brain is constantly forced to switch tasks, it starts to rewire itself to expect that same level of stimulation all the time. You get addicted to multitasking, even when you know it's killing your focus. Then, there's the dopamine trap. ADHD isn't just about distraction. It's about how your brain handles dopamine, the reward chemical. Coding gives you that dopamine hit in microdoses. You fix a bug, dopamine. You push code and the tests pass, dopamine. You see that sweet deployment successful message? Holy dopamine. It's the same brain loop as social media or gaming, short bursts of effort followed by instant gratification. The problem is, your brain starts to crave that feedback. So when you sit down to write documentation or debug some obscure async bug for four hours, it feels unbearable. There's no dopamine in that, just pain. And here's the plot twist. This is also why so many people with ADHD actually thrive in software. The constant novelty, the changing problems, the instant rewards. It's like a custom-built playground for a restless brain. They can hyper-focus on complex problems for hours, something they'd struggle to do in other fields. But the flip side is burnout. When everything you do relies on short dopamine bursts, your brain starts to crash when the pace slows down. You lose motivation, procrastinate, and suddenly you're refactoring your portfolio site instead of doing your actual job. So what can you do about it? Okay, you can't just focus harder. Think, Mark! You have to design your workflow around how your brain naturally works. Use short, timed sprints. The Pomodoro technique is cliche for a reason. Alternate between creative and mechanical tasks so you don't mentally overheat. Keep a visible list of quick wins so your brain keeps getting small dopamine boosts. And for the love of sanity, mute your notifications. No one writes good code while context switching every two minutes. Maybe most developers don't actually have ADHD. Maybe the job just simulates it perfectly. You're inside a simulation of a simulation inside a simulation of a simulation inside the matrix programming is built around short-term wins high stimulation and constant feedback exactly the conditions that make our brains light up like a christmas tree coincidence i think not so the next time you find yourself opening 15 Chrome tabs before lunch, don't beat yourself up. You're not broken. You're just a developer running your brain at full CPU usage. And sometimes that's exactly what makes you good at what you do. This was Codehead with yet another tech rant. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. Lights out.